Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to seek. By that I mean, when you click here, the audio will keep to that time, okay? So it's just few lines, two lines, okay? So let's go back to the code and do that. So back to the code. So what you're going to do, you see this element with the ID of progress bar. We copy that ID. So what you're going to do to it, we're going to listen to the mouse down event you can also listen to the click event okay remember we're still writing our code inside the window load event okay so that id dot add event listener mouse down and we have the function then the use capture is going to be false so here we're going to pass in the event okay now what you're going to do is when the user clicks on this bar we're going to detect the position at which they have clicked Okay, then we're going to minus it from the width to get a percentage. Okay, so how we determine that is this way. We're going to create a variable called clicked position. Now we're going to equate it to the event dot client x. What that does is it checks where on this window has the user clicked. So if I click here, it will give me the x coordinate of this point okay then how we get the it against the width of this bar is we minus the width of the bar so this is how we minus it event dot target dot offset left so that gets the position of that element on the window okay this will give us a certain fraction okay so this fraction we are going to multiply it with the duration of the audio to give us the current time like this so we're going to say audio dot current time equals to equals to the clicked position divided by the width of this progress bar and now we determine that by event dot target dot offset width now that number that we get there which is a fraction we multiply it by audio dot duration that will do it okay so let's go back to the browser and test so refresh you see it has worked so that's it for this lesson see you in the next one